Hey guys, I need to film a video today and I also need to do my makeup, so I thought I would combine the two. Hey guys, it's Green Crown here. I realise I don't really say that anymore, <laughs> but it is. Hi. Um, and today I'm going to be doing the makeup book tag. So nobody has tagged me in this, I just saw it and I liked it. And the premise of this is that there is different types of makeup with different questions attached to them and you answer the questions while you're doing that part of your makeup. It's pretty straightforward. First one, which is primer. So I don't use a primer at the moment because I don't have any um, and there's also one built into my foundation. But currently I've been putting the Lazil Instant Boost Skin Tonic Spritzer on my skin before I do the rest of my makeup because I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's the thing that I should do. Name a book that left a lasting impression on you and and the sun's going in. Cool, I'm gonna pick for that one The Shining by um, Stephen King and the reason I'm picking that is because I've read it once like two years ago from the readathon that I did um, on this channel and it is a book that I think about all the time. I reference it all the time, I talk about it all the time, I loved it so much but I only read it once and it is something that like I think about a lot. The next one is foundation. Please ignore my hideous brush. That's going to be a theme. And also, yes, I do use Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse that everyone used in 2003. I am okay with that. <laughs> what is the best first book in a series or your favourite first book in a series? I'm going to pick um, the first book in the Fifth Wave series by Rick Yancey um, because yeah, the rest of that series was awful, um, but that book was really, really, really good and it had like such potential and the second book was so mediocre and the third book was just plain bad. Um, but the first book was really, really good, so I'm especially picking that one because um, of the contrast with the other books in the series. The next one is Concealer, which I don't usually wear, but for the purposes of this um, this video I will. And the question for that one is a character that you wish didn't exist. Rather than picking a specific character, because I tend to not really dislike certain characters in books. Because um, in my in my experience, if, um, if a character is bad, it's generally just because they're written badly. And if they're written badly, I probably don't like the rest of the book, because the rest of the book is probably written badly as well. Um, a lot of the characters in Zenith... Um, by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummins because there was just too many of them and it would have been a lot more enjoyable if there was less. Um, so rather than a specific character, I just mean like three or four of them that could have just not been in there that would have made it easier to read. So the next one is supposed to be powder and then blush and highlight is supposed to be at the end but like who does all of their makeup including like mascara and then does their blush? So we're gonna do, we're gonna do bronzer and blush now blush um this i don't like at all it is the sugar bomb benefit blush it all like mixed together and it's far too dark for me but as you guys know i'm doing project pan so we need to get through it um and the question for this one is a cringy romance and now so i know some people could answer this in a good way because like they like cringy romances I am not about it. They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera for this one. I know a lot of people really like it. I'm like, yeah, it wasn't the worst, but it was really cringy. I mean, like, they, of course they both met each other and they're like dying day and they fell in love and whatever. And like, of course it was really cringy. Again, it's supposed to be at the end, but I'm gonna do it now because that's the order I do my makeup in, is highlighter. I'm currently using the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, which I'm not a big fan of because it takes the makeup off from underneath when I put it on. So that's not fantastic. A book that brightens your day. And for this one, I have to go with Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. This wouldn't be a book tag if I didn't mention my favorite book of all time. Um, it brightens my day because I love it so much. And even when I don't read it, if like I see something that's like related to it or somebody mentions it, or like I see someone wearing like a t-shirt with it on or whatever, it's still gonna, brighten my day. Things is going really badly. <laughs> I think this looks really bad. Oh god. Powder, which is the last, your favourite last book in a series. And again, this is a bit of a strange one because you don't put powder on last, or at least you don't in this tag. This is a book that um, I read 
years ago and again I only read once but that is Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins which is the last book in the Hunger Games series and I just remember when I read it I was like maybe like 15, 14 um, sitting there and like there's a moment at the end which I just fully didn't see coming and it was so like mind blowing to me at that time um, and I'm guessing like I, I did read but I wasn't really used to reading like that sort of um, book with like plot twists and like really intense plots um, and it just like blew my mind and I remember like all of it being like oh my god and then like running downstairs and being like mom guess what happened and she didn't care but I was like oh my god like <laughs> this can happen and it sort of I don't know yeah it opened me up to like a world of um like actual plots in books rather than like um obviously Harry Potter did as well but I sort of hadn't read anything like that other than Harry Potter. Next is eyebrows and I'm currently using the Benefit Cabrow thing. I don't like it but I'm trying to use it up. Um, a book that everyone should read. I don't know what this is implying about eyebrows. Is this implying that everyone should fill in their eyebrows? Anyway, a book that everyone should read. Um, for this one I tried to pick a book that was a little bit less known um, that I think everyone should check out. And I picked um, Smoke Gets In Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematorium by Caitlin Doughty or Ask a Mortician on YouTube. Um, and the reason I picked that was because not only do I not think it is, um, you know, it, it doesn't have the attention that it deserves, um, but also the fact that it tackles such an important issue and I think it really does like make you see death differently and it makes you think about things differently and in a good way and I think it, it makes you think about a lot of things that like maybe you would normally avo avoid thinking about that are actually quite important but that's not good okay definitely can't talk and do my makeup at the same time <laughs> the next one is um, eyeshadow and um, there is no section for eye primer so I'm going to do that first your favourite colour, like what is your favourite colour in a book cover? Um, so pick up your favourite colour and pick a book cover that has the same colour as it. I'm not very good at the whole talking and makeup thing, am I? So my favourite colour is purple, surprise surprise. And the only book that I currently have with me at uni with a purple cover is Neil Gaiman, Smoke and Mirrors. I have not read this yet and I don't think this is a particularly pretty cover. It's pretty average, it's got some light patterns on it and this like embossing. Um, but it is my favourite colour. And oh look, you can see my rice crackers and uh, dilute that is, and also the Diet Coke stand that you're sitting on. Hi, hashtag YouTuber exposed. The next one is eyeliner um, and the question for this one is pick a dark and mysterious book. And for this one I'm going with Not by Adrian Barnes. Not because it's the, the typical like um, mysterious um, mystery or like you know, sort of, when I think of a dark and mysterious book, my mind immediately goes to like a Victorian murder mystery. Um, but because it's kind of normal and then it sort of descends and it gets like a bit weird and very dark and sort of dreamscapey and it sort of creeps up on you, it's also very mysterious because you have no idea why any of it's happening and like it gets more mysterious as it goes on and like things get weirder. The next one is mascara. Now I'm using a very cheap collection Super Size Fat Lash Mascara because it was cheap. Um, pick a long book. Um, I've actually just recently, if you guys are following my stories vlog, uh, finished the longest book that I've ever read, which is Skeleton Crew by Stephen King. Um, it was, I think it was 750-ish pages long, and it was short stories, just the reason why it was so long. Um, so yeah, if you want my opinions on that, check out the stories vlog casual plug. Mascara really does like fix it doesn't it? It always looks weird until you put mascara on. And the last one for this is the lipstick. Um, I'm currently trying to work my way through some of my lipsticks so I'm kind of sticking to one and then using it up. I'm currently using the number seven lipstick Stay Perfect in the colour 60 Velvet Kiss. I don't have a particularly good answer for this one. The question is favourite book kiss and I don't have one. Um, I'm not a massive fan of romance and I can't think of a particular case in a book where I was like oh wow I'm so excited for this to happen and yeah and whatever I'm just sort of like okay but can we get to the actual plot now? Put my glasses on to hide 
this monstrosity. See, it's better already. You can't see it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I would be very interested to know what the answer to some of these questions are for you. You don't have to answer them all. You can answer them one of them, or two of them, or as many as you like. Essentially, like I'm not the boss of you. Do whatever you want. Um, yeah, that was my mini makeup tutorial that was a bit awful and also some books. <laughs> Uh, I hope you liked this video, like, subscribe and all that jazz, new videos every Wednesday. If you're more interested in my reading content, I do a story vlog once a month and also there's a playlist on my channel about all of my book related videos. Um, and I will see you next time.